All right, we're just going to the uh, end of my pier, my property, and we're going to see Oyster City, which is a, uh, a city and a marina that I built on two big floats. I wanted to draw attention to oysters and how important they are to the bay. And I thought if I could create awareness, um, and this, this absolutely draws an amazing amount of boaters over the weekend. People come by, they take pictures, and it has oyster facts, and it just tries to educate the public a little bit about the importance of oysters and what they mean to the Chesapeake Bay. It basically all started at a, I uh, went to a fundraiser for the Chesapeake Bay, and um, it was actually uh, a big like oyster roast, and they were shucking oysters, and they had a display where they took some very, very cloudy water that you couldn't really see through, and they put two oysters in there, and they told me to come back in a half an hour, and they told me the water would be crystal clear, because oysters filter 50 gallons of water daily. And uh, sure enough, when I came back, that water was crystal clear, and I was just, uh, I was, it was very compelling. And uh, I just thought, boy, if there was more oysters back in the bay, it could help clean the bay up. So I just decided to create a hobby with this and build my own reefs. Oysters population in the Chesapeake Bay um, is only historically today at 1% of what it was. And there were enough oysters in the bay, like the turn of the century, where the bay would be filtered every day. Now there's only 1% of that, so it can take a year before it can get the filtering properties. If I've been in the process of building a reef for four years, uh, right at, right uh, around the bend of the Severn River. My reef is right over here where the green number 13 shallow water marker is. And I collect shells from five different restaurants uh, that, uh, that serve oysters and I pick up the shells and I let the shells heat up in the sun and get all the biomaterial off of them and then I plant them out on the reef, and I've been building this reef for about five years. All of these oysters here on this property, which is about a total of 6,000, will go out on the reef within the next few weeks. And I probably now have a total of 30,000 oysters growing there. I would say right now with the amount of oysters that I have on that reef, they can filter probably about 150,000 gallons of water daily. I put them in buckets and then I just take my boat out to the reef and then I just scatter them on the reef.